This is how my team and I won a Roblox game jam, with me having zero developing skills. It all started at the beginning of April, when my friend Larry was looking for a third teammate to help compete with him in a game jam. Up until this point I had never competed in a game jam, so I wasn't sure what to expect. At first I was confused on what I'd be able to bring to the table, since I couldn't script. Yes I know, I'm a fraud. <laughs> I couldn't make music. And I suddenly couldn't draw. However, I did have a tiny amount of Blender experience, as well as experience building some cursed stuff in studio. But we don't talk about that. Although, Lari seemed to think that my lack of useful brain cells was good enough. I was now officially on the team, that being me, Lari, and Nisox, who is a Twitch streamer. Says he likes eating hot dogs. Oh, does he now? Well, you should tell him to come over to my 7-Eleven and I'll, I'll serve him a hot dog. He can choose from a hot dog with ketchup, hot dog with mustard, hot dog with a hot dog, hot dog with just a bun, hot dog with just a dog, and hot dog with just a dog, and hot dog with just a hot or maybe- Now all we needed was a name for the team. <laughs> and just like that, the dream team of scripted egg socks was formed. So here's a rundown of the event. In this game jam, there were three mini challenges and one main challenge at the end. To compete in the final challenge, you will need to have completed at least two mini challenges. Our team ended up competing in all three mini challenges, plus the final challenge. Also, here are the prizes. Pretty epic. Larry and I didn't care too much about the actual prizes, and really only cared for the pin. The first mini challenge was to create a fantasy weapon. We started straight away by planning and sketching. As I said at the start, I didn't have many developing skills at the time, so I decided to watch some Blender tutorials and teach myself the program. I learned how to make some basic mushrooms, which was a start. The progress on the build was going good. Until we realised that we didn't need to make a full game, and only needed to make the weapon itself. Larry and Esox took care of that, so I wasn't much help for the first challenge. We didn't end up winning the first challenge, but we were happy with our submission, and still had more opportunities to win. The second challenge asked for us to make a fantasy vehicle or mode of transportation. We chose to make a skyboat, which I thought was a great idea. Once again, we didn't have to make a full game, however, we did still make a showcase game for the boat. Dari assigned me to work on the scenery and buildings. He also suggested making a wizard tower, so I accepted the challenge. The tower came out not bad and I was proud of what I had made. The boat was designed by Nisox and modelled by Lari. We didn't win this challenge, but nevertheless we were happy with what we had made. The third mini challenge required us to make a final boss. Larry seemed pretty confident since he had experience making bosses. He sketched and planned mostly everything. The problem was that we only had 24 hours to make this, and since it was scripting heavy, Larry had to do a lot of the work. I ended up building a pretty sick castle for the boss fight entrance. We were short on time sadly, so we didn't end up using it. Our submission was decent but incomplete, so we didn't expect to win. So here are some of the other submissions, which are uh, pretty epic. <laughs> At this point we had worked out that the final challenge would likely ask for us to put the weapon, vehicle and boss into a complete game. And we were correct. It was now time for the final challenge. Originally we had 50 hours to complete the game, however they ended up extending it to give us another week. The plan was to make the game in chapters. Chapter 1 was the weapon plus a small mini boss. The second chapter was about the vehicle and another mini boss. And the third chapter was arriving at the final boss. We had also planned to make a lobby to teleport between the chapters. I was assigned to make buildings for the lobby as well as the chapter 2 boss, which both turned out really good.
We also ended up using the castle I'd made for the second challenge. After a lot of work from Nisox, Larry and I, we had completed most of the game by the end of the week. We didn't complete chapter 3, however we had done really well in chapter 1 and 2 that we thought it was good enough. Here is some footage of the game, it will be linked in the description to play if you would like to. After weeks of waiting, the time finally came where they announced the winners. We came second place, which we were all pretty happy with. Once again, the game is in the description if you would like to try it out, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the video.